Oh, good evening. You know, uh, this came as somewhat of a surprise to me. I was under the impression that all pool tables were kidney-shaped. I guess that's only true in Hollywood. Our story tonight will be in a somewhat different vein. It is a tale of mystery and intrigue on a transcontinental express. It is called... Title seems to have slipped my mind. It's um... you've uh, dropped your cue. title of tonight's play is Safe Conduct. Thank you very much. Safe conduct from President Stoska. Well, aren't you going to read it? It tells all about me and why I'm in your country. I know perfectly well why you're here, Miss Prescott. You're to write articles about our country for the American newspapers with the approval of President Stoska himself. I have a copy of the letter here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Dining car is offered. Have you enjoyed your visit here? Yes, I had a marvelous time. I was shown every courtesy. I'm sorry you're leaving us so soon. You'll get into Fürthburg at midnight. Midnight? And you'll proceed into Western Germany. The train will be checked very thoroughly at the border, but I think we can arrange that you be disturbed as little as possible. Oh, wonderful. Do you carry any military maps, photos of restricted areas, uh, official documents? No. This will advise the customs officials at the border that your luggage has been inspected. And you won't have the trouble to open it. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Not at all, ma'am. Oh, Jan Gubak. I didn't know you were in the train. Traveling incognito, comrade. I see. Officer, what is his name? Is he one of your movie stars? Oh, no, ma'am. He's one of our great national heroes. Oh, well, he certainly is popular. Back at the station there, there was a crowd of people around him, children. You see, he's the captain of our national soccer team. It was he who won us the world championship last year in Switzerland. Oh, I see. He's really considered the greatest soccer player alive today, even according to your capitalistic sports commentators. Please excuse me, I'd like to ask an autograph for my son. Oh, yes. Good night, Miss Prescott. See you at the border. Good night. Come in. Miss Prescott, may I come in? Yes, come in. Uh, do you want to leave the door open? Yes, uh, might be a good idea. I always smoke too much when I'm working anyway. Sit down. You are an American reporter writing about our country. Yes, I'm right in the middle of it now. I saw your pictures in the newspapers, with President Stotska at the Ballet Theater, visiting our war memorial. You have many clothes. Just about average, I'd say. Do you have many stockings, too, and uh, much lingerie? Hmm? I beg your pardon? Well, I, I would like to buy a pair of stockings, or perhaps a slip or something, if you will be kind enough to sell it to me. You know, I hardly think they'd fit you. <laughs> well, uh, that's not for me. You see, I am on my way to Munich, where my sister is in the hospital. And I wanted to buy her something before getting on the train, 
But all the stores were closed. I forgot it was a national holiday. So now I have a 300 kronen in my pocket and no gift for my sister's Inca. Well, can't you buy her something in Munich? Well, I will have no money in Munich. You see, uh, we are only allowed to take 100 kronen out of the country. And if I have more, then I must leave it with the customs office until my return. Yes, I forgot your strict border regulations. Oh, yes. Rules and regulations, permits and questionnaires. That's all governments are for, to make our life more difficult every day. I like your honesty, but don't you think it's dangerous to criticize your government? Oh, I know. Everybody keeps telling me to keep my mouth shut. But I am not afraid. Not as wrong as I am the captain of the national soccer team. But now about our, our business transaction. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, let's see what's on sale today, shall we? Um, second-hand slips, scarves. Perfect. Brand new pair of stockings, extra sheer. Oh, it's wonderful. How much? Um, well, it'll cost you, um, one picture of yourself in your soccer uniform with the inscription to Mary Prescott. Thanks for the stockings. What is your name? Kubak, uh, Jan Kubak. Well, I, uh, I'll send you the picture, but that still leaves me with 200 kronen to spend. Why no? You are my guest for dinner tonight. Okay? Okay. Now? Now. <laughs> 